Hello ladies and gentlemen, Fanto here, and uh, I am kind of sick, so pardon my extremely monotone voice, but uh, <laughs> I don't know, I'm sick on Christmas, it sucks, but I wanted to do a quick video to wish all of my friends, my subscribers, uh, a Merry Christmas, or whatever you celebrate, whatever you don't celebrate, just whatever you're doing today, I hope that you have a good one, and I hope it's a great day with friends, family, all that good stuff. I know that it has been for me so far, spending lots of time with my family and friends, uh, eating lots of food yesterday and today and opening presents and stuff like that. It's just been a great one. It's been a great, you know, these, these memorable times. Of course, I'm an adult now, so, <laughs> you know, I have to buy everybody else gifts. So it's not quite as fun as it was when I was a kid, but uh, it's still been fun regardless. And, you know, I, I, it, I did lots of things and stuff and it's been great. But um, I wanted to talk about sort of, you know, the experience of The Last of Us in 2013. So The Last of Us released uh, not so long ago, June 14th of 2013. And, uh, you know, as someone who's been with The Last of Us and followed every detail of it, you know, years before it actually released, I started following it in what, <laughs> was it, it was with the VGA, VGA 11, 2011 trailer that I started getting into. I was like, oh my god, this looks great, oh, Naughty Dog, yes! And, um, you know, that, so since then I've been following it, and as someone who's been with it that long, it's such an amazing thing to watch the community just, you know, the community grows, everything grows, you know, the, the multiplayer is so fascinating, because when it first came out, Man, like, I, I didn't think it would be that great. You know, the multiplayer itself, Naughty Dog didn't talk about it at all before the game came out. They didn't. They just said, there's going to be multiplayer. Now, everybody shut up. We're not talking about it. And in fact, the first news, or the first, you know, gameplay that we saw, it wasn't a trailer. It wasn't anything released by the developers. It was some guy who got the game early and leaked gameplay footage. And that was the first stuff we saw. And we were like, oh, this looks great. And, you know, that was when I realized this is going to be a great multiplayer. And when I actually played it, you know, it, it did. It turned out to be, in my opinion, of course, and I know plenty of people share this opinion, uh, the multiplayer turned out to be one of the greatest multiplayer experiences of 2013. It's fantastic. It's a stealthy, awesome, you know, it's, it's very addictive. Uh, but, you know, when the game first released, it was such a different experience than it is now. Like, it was so stealthy, like, too stealthy for me, bro. And... I mean, I remember we were playing in parties, and everybody was, don't run, don't run, no nobody run, you know, and so we were literally crouch walking from spawn to the first box, and <laughs> it's just silly, but I mean, it, was, it was fun, and obviously it's not that stealthy anymore, it's more of a run-and-gun shooting fest, which, you know, is fine, it's still fun, you can still play stealthy if you want, um, and throughout all the nerfs and buffs and, and tweaks to the multiplayer and connectivity issues, stuff like that, the game still thrives, there's still plenty of players playing, and, you know, I, I played a little bit this morning. Obviously, Christmas noobs are a, uh, a huge advantage, everybody getting the game for Christmas, so plenty of low levels to, you know, just stomp on, which is, is always fun, right? And, uh, <laughs> but I kind of wanted to talk about, that. that's the past. It's been, it's been so interesting watching the game evolve, watching the community grow, and, you know, seeing everybody's opinions. It's just been, it's been so surreal, it's been a lot of fun, and, uh, you know, the future of The Last of Us multiplayer... Honestly, at this point, I'm surprised. Like, like I said, I wasn't expecting the multiplayer to be this great. So naturally, I wasn't expecting the multiplayer to survive as long as it has. It's been what, like six months now. I mean, you know, it's the, the multiplayer is still thriving now. In terms of the future, I think Naughty Dog should really take it easy on um, what weapon tweaks. I know that they are looking into balancing weapons further. Now they haven't really done a whole lot in terms of weapon tweaks uh, recently, but nerfs, you know, I, <laughs> I don't think any weapon really needs it right now. It, it's very debatable. For instance, the semi-automatic rifle is probably one of the most discussed about topics in terms of, yeah, it doesn't need another nerf. The first nerf did almost nothing to it, you know, and it is definitely the most used weapon in multiplayer. Any game will show you that. Get into a game and look at what people are using the majority of the time. And so it's very arguable, very debatable uh, if it does need another, another nerf. You know, in my opinion, I... <laughs> I use all weapons equally, and I think all weapons as they are right now are are pretty much fine the way it is. I think that the bow, it's just kind of a surprising opinion, but I think the bow is kind of the baseline for what all other weapons should be should be balanced around. Because the bow, you think about it, it has a learning curve in order to be effective with it. And if someone is effective with it, it has a sheer lethality that is just, whew, I mean, it pops off armor in one hit, it's a one hit headshot down. You know, it's, it's, it's a very effective weapon if you're good with it. And so I think in terms of weapon mechanics, a weapon that is very effective if you're good with it, meaning you have to actually learn to be good with it, I think that's a very good... A very good uh, aspect of a weapon when it comes to balancing, and I think all other weapons in the game should be balanced around, well, all of their primary weapons, not loadout weapons, of course. All of their primary primary weapons in the game should be balanced around a weapon like that, around the bow. And, um, if, for the most part, they are. I mean, the hunting rifle, very effective weapon if you're good with it. You know, the, um, the burst rifle, very effective if you're good with it. You, you, think, you know, the semi-automatic rifle, of course, is the only downside where it's just kind of good in all situations. And so, you know, some, some people say that that's what it's meant for. It's, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a reliable gun. Some people say that it shouldn't be 
reliable in all situations as well as it is now and that it needs a nerf you know that's th these are debatable things that you know i guess naughty dog ultimately will have the final say and you know in my opinion though i think everything's okay i think everything's fine as it is right now it's really late in the game's uh, in the game cycle to be changing up mechanics too harshly because when you change a weapons mechanic you are effectively shifting a player's play style and this late in the game even though it is only a few months into the game I just think it's kind of dangerous because with the PlayStation 4 coming out, you know, the bigger games coming out, obviously the player pool is going to be reduced, even for a short amount of time. It doesn't really matter. When the player pool gets reduced, you don't want to be messing with people's play styles. People are going to want to play the way they want to play. And, and in my opinion, there's nothing too game-breaking about the game as it stands right now. You know, the only thing that I would really... The only changes that I would really promote are connectivity changes and then a change to the, the machete. Four loadout points, even if they did recently tweak it so that it takes two slashes to reduce a durability bar... It still isn't worth four loadout points. I wouldn't mind if they either buffed it or just reduced the amount of loadout points that it costs. And then there's connectivity issues. You know, lag is a huge issue in the multiplayer currently. Naughty Dog recently released a, um, a connectivity live update, which was fantastic. I didn't come across a single lagger. Each lobby had a you know, consistently four to five bars, maybe a three bar. That's no big deal, really. And it was, it was fantastic. Then they changed it because some people were having troubles. They changed it, you know, and uh, the lag came back, which is unfortunate. I think that Naughty Dog needs to find, they need to keep tweaking and find a good happy meeting for everyone so that people are still able to play but those of us with good connections we don't have to play with those people with bad bad connections you know it's it's not it's just kind of multiplayer basics you know because lag really does it ruins the game for others when it comes to player to player hosting and so i think naughty dog could definitely put some time into connectivity changes i would really support that as well as a machete change but in terms of you know changing things up in weapons i don't think is necessary at the moment and i i can't wait to see what they have in store for um, for for the, the next single player DLCs, you know, the, the next multiplayer DLC coming sometime after the, f the single player DLC. It's going to be fantastic. I have no doubt in my mind that the player pool will still be relatively healthy by then because it's healthy now and that <laughs> I, I, it honestly does surprise me. And so I'm, I'm, I'm very happy about that. And uh, anyways, I have to go see The Hobbit in a few hours. So I'm going to get off and I hope you guys agree with me. If you don't, let me know why. And as always, have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Merry Christmas again. And I will see you guys in the next video.